Since 2015, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Canadians are in desperate need of their tax refunds. But after eight years of this Liberal government, Canadians are receiving poorer services despite a 50% increase in the bureaucracy. And outside these doors, we have the largest public service strike in the history of Canada. So will the Prime Minister take responsibility for the countless number of Canadians that are counting on their tax refunds and end this strike. The Honourable President of the Treasury Board. Mr. Speaker, as I was saying earlier, I published an open letter yesterday to bring an update for public servants and Canadians. And guess what? We are now at a few items to be able to get to a deal. Now, we know many services are being affected right now, and we respect workers to be on strike, and we know that this is hurting Canadians. That is why I am working tirelessly with my negotiating team to get to a deal. And, Mr. Speaker, we're going to get to a deal as soon as we can. The Honourable Member for Calgary, Mednapur. Mr. Speaker, an open letter doesn't cut it. We need a negotiated agreement to end this strike. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister had two years to come to a negotiated agreement, and he failed. As a result, we have seniors who are mailing in their tax returns who don't know when they're going to get their refunds. We have Canadians who are calling the CRA, and no one is picking up the phone to answer the most basic of questions. So will this Prime Minister so show some compassion for Canadians who deserve the most basic of services and end this strike. The Honourable Minister for Families. Mr. Speaker, unlike the Conservatives, we respect the right to collective bargaining and we respect the right to strike. We also respect Canadians and that's why, unlike the Conservatives, we brought in the Canada Child Benefit, which has helped lift 450,000 children out of poverty, Mr. Speaker. Unlike the Conservatives, we increased the Guaranteed Income Supplement, which has helped lift thousands of seniors out of poverty, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we are going to get a good deal at the negotiating table because that's where they have Happen. Mr. Speaker, we respect Canadians, we respect public servants, and we are going to make sure that we get a good deal for both the public service and Canadians.